Hi, I'm Nick Moffitt with Verisurf Software. In today's video, I'll demonstrate the Absolute Master 3D Gauge equipped with a Master 3D Gauge Scanner. In a previous video, I showed you how to align, inspect, build, analyze, and reverse engineer using the Master 3D Gauge as a probing device. In this video, I'll show you how to inspect and reverse engineer parts using laser scan data. The Master 3D Gauge Scanner enables high-speed, non-contact 3D point capture at a great price-performance ratio for analysis and reverse engineering. The scanner accuracy is plus or minus 40 microns at 2 sigma. Line width at midfield is 80 millimeters, and a long standoff distance enables scanning in hard-to-reach cavities. The scanner measures 750 points per line at 60 hertz for an effective scan rate of 45,000 points per second. Laser power adjustment is semi-automatic, and the laser scans even challenging surfaces like aluminum and carbon fiber. The integrated rangefinder changes color to let you know when the scanner is the correct distance from the part. Finally, the probe mount enables hot swapping between hard probe and scanner with automatic recognition without having to calibrate. We've seen an overview of the hardware. Next, we'll see how to inspect surface profile quickly and easily. The Scan Analyze Report workflow streamlines the inspection of complex surfaces and forms the core of Verisurf's industry-leading model-based inspection tools. To demonstrate, I'll scan a part and then analyze and report surface profile condition. I put spacers under the part and defined a boundary to exclude points beneath it. As I begin scanning, notice that only the part is captured and the tabletop is ignored. I'll continue scanning the part until I've captured all five sides. When I'm done scanning, I'll merge the individual clouds. We don't need millions of points to check surface profile on a 6-inch part, so I'll filter the data to a 30,000th separation. In order to analyze the point cloud to the model, we first need to align it. I'll choose Tools Global Register to do a quick rough alignment. If the model includes auto-align targets, we can perform an RPS alignment using the designated target locations. Instead, I'll reject the auto-align results and then choose Tools, Register to Nominal to perform a best-fit alignment using all the data. With the point cloud aligned, I can now run analysis to inspect surface profile. I'll then create a report, add a screenshot, and generate the report file. The PDF format I've chosen displays a summary of the analysis with a screenshot. Verisurf can further simplify the analysis process by automating the alignment, analysis, and reporting of scan data using the Do It tool. I'll demonstrate the process using the point cloud we just analyzed. I'll hide the analysis and then clear the transformation from the point cloud to return it to its measured orientation. If I select the Do It button using Shift-Click, Verisurf opens a dialog that allows me to configure the Do It process. I have it configured to align the data using global registration, this time followed by auto-align rather than best fit. Then, after analyzing the point cloud, Verisurf will fit the data to the screen and generate a quick report. I'll close the dialog and use the Do It button to show how the process can be run with a single click using the default settings. When the process is complete, Verisurf displays a quick report of the analysis. Because the device doesn't need to be aligned, the Do It process can be used with point clouds from virtually any source. For example, we can import data from CAD, or we can read it from an external file. Once the point cloud is loaded into Verisurf, we simply run Do It to align and analyze the data and report the results. We've just seen how the Master 3D Gauge Scanner simplifies the inspection of surface profile through the analysis of point clouds. Next, we'll see how it facilitates real-time inspection. The Master 3D Gauge Scanner simplifies real-time surface profile inspection by automating deviation analysis at predefined inspection points. 
The process begins with an inspection plan that defines target locations on the model. We can create this plan using Verisurf Automate or by reporting the results of a manual inspection. We then enable automatic measurement and averaging of scan points within each target's threshold zone. I'll hot swap the scanner for the probe and then align the master 3D gauge using Auto Align. When the alignment is complete, I'll hot swap the probe for the scanner. The repeatable mount allows me to switch between probes without having to recalibrate. I'll then open Auto Inspect and run the inspection plan. When I do, Verisurf highlights the targets in the first grid. To measure the targets, I simply sweep the laser across the part. Verisurf averages the values in each target zone and displays the deviation. I'll complete the inspection by measuring the targets as each grid is highlighted. Notice that the plan automatically displays the best view for each grid. After the last grid is measured, Verisurf displays a summary of each surface along with a screenshot. This automated procedure enables inspection of surface deviation at the same locations across any number of parts, regardless of operator. It simplifies comparison and helps to evaluate and maintain process control. We can perform this same type of inspection on existing point clouds, and we can leverage the capabilities of the DOIT function to help automate the process. I'll hide the analysis and clear the results in AutoInspect. I'll then import a scan of the part from a text file. If I open the DOIT dialog, we see that it's configured to align but not analyze the data. When I run DOIT, Verisurf aligns the imported point cloud to the model using AutoAlign. I can then highlight the cloud and choose Run Offline in Auto Inspect. Aside from the differences in measurements, the results are similar to what we saw in the previous example. We've now seen various examples of surface profile inspection. Next, we'll see how to reverse engineer parts using both probe and scan data.